So it took a long time, but I think we got it here. Had to do a little bit more modification than I wanted to, but um, it looks like it should work. So we'll run through function real quick and then we'll take it apart and have a look. Um, so as you can see, pull that back, catches something on the trigger. We'll pull that apart in a minute. And pull the trigger. This tracker goes forward. Pull back again. Catches. This tracker goes forward. Nice and nice. So, what I had to do, take my existing striker that I had, the longer one, cut that tab off, weld it on flush with the back. Yes, I know, MIG weld looks terrible. Works though. Um, so that's the same, hasn't changed. I had to mill the far side off of that little hump there to clear the new sear I added to the trigger pack. Not a problem because the uh, trip lever rides over here. No big deal. And take this apart here. I've been working on this for like four hours tonight and it's just about midnight, so bear with me. Take that off here. So you can see factory sear is gone. Oh, it's right here. Ow, it's still hot, but it's gone. It used to be back here. So I put a new one. We created the angles up there, about a little bit over an inch further forward, and then the ST MIG welded it to the uh, Cerebral lever. So pull that down, and it trips just like the original. I'll probably end up hardening that. It is tool steel anyways, but it's uh, hardenable steel, so I'll get that hardened up, and uh, we should be good to go. So besides that, had to mill out this slot a little bit longer to clear the new lever. But besides that, two thumbs up, two dirty thumbs up. All right, time for bed. See you later.